we have another test flight coming up in a matter of days test okay. flight seven we've got some new goals here they're going to actually fly payload they're going to deploy 10 starlink simulators out of their little te pez dispenser thing up in the cargo bay this is the first reflight of a used engine they're carrying 25 percent more fuel but they did also uh improve the uh quote-unquote vacuum jacketing of the feed lines as well as a new feed line system for the raptor vacuum engines there's a new ship computer a flight computer uh basically a bunch of things to increase its ability to stay in space for longer there's a few other advancements that i'm really interested in that's the fact that they moved the location of the forward flaps on the ship vehicle uh, and they reduced their size so that they shouldn't see the amount of burn through that they saw mm. at the at the flap hinges uh which is really dramatic footage from previous ones uh they've also uh increased i believe the um the communications Starlink networks uh, of it with all these extra cameras so that they, they can have more than 120 megabits uh, per second uh, of, of real-time HD, which is pretty crazy uh, for this kind of a vehicle. It's super, super visibly instrumented, and it, it not only gives them very clear ideas of what's going on with the with the spacecraft uh, as it's flying through space or the booster on its way back down, but it gives us all just some spectacular views uh, of it. I mean, it's, it's mesmerizing to watch and everyone should be looking for that in flight seven to see how it all uh, shakes out.